Lesson 12.2, describe angles in plain shapes. So we're going to describe angles in two-dimensional shapes. This is an angle. It's formed by two rays. We have an, a ray coming up this way and a ray coming this way. And they share an endpoint. A vertex, right here, that's a shared endpoint. So where the two rays start, that's the vertex right here, and it's the endpoint. This is a right angle. It forms a square corner. We can describe angles in plane shapes by seeing if they make a square corner to make a right angle. We can also compare them to right angles to see if they are less than, that would be more closed than a square corner, or greater than, that would be more open than a square corner, than a right angle. Changing in the position of the angle will not change the size of the angle. So these are all right angles. They all have a square corner. Doesn't matter what direction the rays, the arrows are pointing, They have a square corner, so they're all right angles. Angles are measured in degrees, and you're going to learn about that when you get into fourth grade. And extending the rays, making them longer, will not change the angle. The angle will stay the same measure no matter how long these rays are. And this angle is less than a right angle. It's smaller than a square corner inside here. And the little curved line is called an arc. And it's a math symbol to identify an angle. Sometimes an angle will be identified with a letter of the alphabet or a number like one, two, three, four. You'll see little numbers inside the angle. That would be angle one and that would be angle two. And you'll learn about that more as you get into the higher grades. We can use the corner of a piece of paper or a sheet of paper to help us decide if an angle is a right angle or not. And the corners of a sheet of paper are right angles. They make a square corner. And if it is a right angle, it will just be just like that corner of the sheet of paper. If it's less than a right angle, it'll be smaller than the sheet of paper. And if it's greater than a right angle, our angle will come out the side of it. So let's take a look at this. To correctly use a sheet of paper to find if an angle is a right angle, less than right or greater than right, we put a straight side of the paper on a straight side inside the shape or inside the angle. We can see here both rays are seen. There's one going this way, there's one coming up this way, and the corners match. We can line it up perfectly. So this is a right angle. The corners match and we can see both rays. See the top of the arrow there? Now let's try this one. When we put our corner of the paper there, we only see that one ray right here. See the part of the arrow? And the other one is going right here underneath the paper. So that's less than a right angle. See, it's smaller, it's not as open as the corner. And we can try this one. When we put this flat side of the paper, this straight side, on this ray, we can see this ray, we can see that part of the arrow, and look, this one is going way out, isn't it? So it's more open than a square corner. It's greater than a right angle. Our dotted line would have been a right angle, and we can see it's less than a right angle. It's not open as much. And here our dotted line would have been where a right angle would be, but it's more open, so it's greater than a right angle. This shape has four angles. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Two right angles that make square corners down here. One, two. One angle greater than a right angle, it's open more than a square corner, 
and one angle less than a right angle. It's closed more than a square corner. And the little box inside the angle tells us it is a right angle. We can see a little box here and a little box here. The little box is a math symbol for right angle. How many angles are inside these shapes? So let's count them. We've got one, two, three, four. This one has four angles. What about this one? This triangle. The triangle has one, two, three. What about this hexagon? Let's count them. We can start here with one, two, three, four, five, six. What about this square? We've got one, two, three, four. How many angles are inside of that circle? Do you see any corners that's curved? And there's zero angles in a circle. What about this shape? How many angles do we see? Let's count them. We've got one, two, three, four. Make that one better. Four angles. Use the corner of a sheet of paper to tell whether the angle is a right angle, less than a right angle, or greater than a right angle. So we can take our sheet of paper and we can lay the flat side of the paper on the flat side of the inside of the hexagon. So we can line up their straight sides like this on the bottom. Let's move this up a little bit. So look at that angle. Do you think this angle is a right angle, less than or greater than a right angle? Well, we see this line sticking out, don't we? It's not going straight up like a straight corner like this paper is. So this one's greater. It's greater than a right angle. What about this angle for the triangle? We can take our piece of paper and line the bottom up with the bottom of the triangle, like this. And we can see through the paper, we can see the line is coming right here, isn't it? So it's less than a square corner, so this one is less than a right angle. See how we did that? Write how many of each type of angle each shape has. So this is a quadrilateral. It's got four sides, one, two, three, four. That's what a quadrilateral is. It's a polygon with four sides. How many right angles do we see? And the boxes can help us, can't they? These little boxes, so we see two of them, so we know there's two right angles. How many angles are less than a right angle. Does this look less than a right angle? If we made a square corner like this? No, that's greater. So we know that one's greater. Does this one make a square corner? Is it more or less than a square corner? That one is less than a square corner. So that one is less than right. That one is greater than right. So we have one less and one greater. Now look at this hexagon. How many right angles do we see? Do you see any square corners? That's not one. That's not one. No, there are zero right angles. And how many are less than right? We can either get our piece of paper or the square corner of a card and we can compare them. We can take a square corner and lay it right here and see that that angle is greater. That angle is greater. 
that angle is greater. Do you see how this line is not making a square corner? It's coming out farther than the corner of the paper. So is that one on the side of my blue card. So is that one. So is that one. So no matter how we turn this card, all the angles are greater than right angles. So none. There's zero that are less than a right angle. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six that are greater than a right angle. That's a hexagon. Now take a look at these three triangles. We have triangle A, triangle B, and triangle C. Which triangle does not have a right angle? We need to circle all that apply. So that means we need to circle all the triangles that do not have a right angle. Look at triangle A. Do you see any square corners? Any right angles? Nope, that looks smaller, that's smaller, that's smaller than a square corner. So A does not have a right angle, so we can circle A. Do you see any square corners, any right angles in triangle B? Yes, I see one right up here. So we're supposed to circle the ones that do not have a right angle, so we can't circle that one. What about triangle C? Do you think it has any square corners inside? No, it doesn't. These are all less than a right angle. So we can circle that one. We look for square corners, and that will tell us if it's a right angle or not. As you get higher up in math, in higher grades, you're going to have to be careful because something that looks like a square corner may not exactly be a square corner. That's why it's important to look for that little box. If there's a little box in the corner, then we know that it's telling us it's definitely a right angle. Circle a number from each box to complete the sentences to describe all of the angles in this shape. So we have three sentences. The first one says there are one, two, three right angles. Which number should we circle? Take a look at this shape. I see the little boxes. There's one, two boxes. That means there's two right angles. There are zero, one, or two angles less than right. So we already did this one and this one. Let's look at this one, this one, and this one. Does this one look smaller or bigger than a square corner? Look at this angle. We can actually use a card or a piece of paper to help us if we need it. But this looks much greater than a right angle. So that's not less. This looks greater than a right angle. If it were a right angle, it would go straight like this. See? That would have been a right angle. So that's not a right angle. And if you look at this one, the angle would have come out this way to be a right angle. See? That would have been a square corner. So this one's open more. So we've got one, two, three that are greater than a right angle. We've got zero that are less than a right angle. So we can circle three down here. There are three angles greater than right. If you're not sure if it's a right angle and it doesn't have a box, try using the corner of a sheet of paper to be sure. As you get older, you're going to learn how to actually measure the exact angle of the angle in degrees. And if a sheet of paper is too big to use for its square corner, you could even use a little index card or a card to help you. In our next lesson, we're going to be describing different polygons. And I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you have a really great day. Bye. Please hit the like button.